How does a church die? I mean, I don't know this church, but I'm guessing that there was a day when neighbors and family and all kinds of people would gather here every single Sunday to worship something bigger than themselves. And then one day it just stopped. I can say, I don't know this church, but I'm guessing that it was very gradual. You know, the neighborhood changed, the people moved away, the congregation got older, eventually attendance plateaued and then declined. They formed a committee to try to save the church. But then one day, there was a last Sunday, they talked about the glory days of the church, and now it's nothing. And the thing is, is this isn't an isolated event. All over Albany are other churches that have closed or have just a couple people that are barely hanging on. I mean, what happened? Uh, is it people's fault? Is it church's fault? Is it God's fault? I mean, here's my theory. Is that somewhere along the line, church became a, a, a building. Uh, it became a place with a priest and an organ, and the church kind of does its thing whether anybody shows up or not. Is that what church is supposed to be? Do you know that the original word church didn't even uh, refer to a religious entity? Uh, it was a Greek word, exclesia, and it referred to a group of people, normally political, that would rally around a common cause. And so here in Albany, there's a group of people right now that are signing a petition to allow them to have chickens in their backyard. According to the original word, they are a church. And so then one day Jesus came along and he said, I'm going to start my own church, my own group of people. And what we're going to rally around is this idea of loving God and loving people. Uh, which I love that. Uh, a couple months ago, my wife and I climbed to the top of a 12,000 foot volcano. And if you ever had an experience like that, uh, for me, I just think something must have created this and I want to know what it is. Uh, or one of the things that I love about living in Albany is that there's all kinds of people, uh, different cultures, different backgrounds, like all kinds of different kinds of food. And something really beautiful happens in me when I learn to really love other people. And so what if there was a group of people? And that was what they rallied around, was loving God and loving people. This is what Jesus came to do. Jesus never talked about buildings. He never talked about organizations. He didn't even talk about starting a religion. Jesus was all about people. And so right now, some of my friends, uh, we're trying to start a brand new church here in Albany. Uh, we're looking for other people to join with us who can rally around this idea that the church isn't a building, it's not an organization, but it's a group of people that are radically loving Jesus, loving each other, and loving the world. And we want to invite you to join us as we start our new church here in Albany, Christ Church Albany.